The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the HLFT-42 next generation supersonic trainer is fully a company initiative that will be offered to the Indian Air Force to train pilots to fly next generation fighter jets like AMCA. Before the design is frozen and the program heads towards the prototype stage, the configuration and specifications of the HLFT-42 will be further refined as per requests from the Indian Air Force. HAL will prefer F-414 engines to power the HLFT-42, but is open to the use of F-404 or any other engines that the Air Force might consider appropriate, but media reports indicate that the possibility of it being powered by dry cavalry with afterburner variant is highly unlikely. The Indian Navy has successfully test-fired a ship-launched version of the BrahMos supersonic missile from a Kolkata-class guided missile destroyer, that resulted in a successful precision strike in the Arabian Sea. The test is significant, as the missile was tested with indigenous seeker and booster developed by the DRDO. Officials have said, that BrahMos missile originally had 50% indigenous content, and BrahMos aerospace has now increased it to more than 70%. Indian firm Alpha L Sec Defence Systems has delivered 60 Tevra Drushti systems to the Indian Army, which is an electro-optical system for long-range reconnaissance and target acquisition operations. The company will also start delivery of Tevra Drushti system to the Indian Air Force later this year, for replacing the vintage Russian optical camera on the Pekara Air Defence System, that will give it a day and night capability and also increase its image clarity and range. The Indian Navy is going ahead with the procurement of second Vikrant class aircraft carrier, and the Navy chief has said that the Navy has also initiated the process of starting a study for a larger aircraft carrier. India and US held the sixth meeting of the Joint Working Group on Aircraft Carrier Technology Cooperation on 3rd March, and as per latest reports, the Indian Navy is keen to collaborate with the General Atomics on localized development of the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear system for its third indigenous 65,000-ton aircraft carrier. As for the requirement by the Rotary Wing Division of Hindustan Aeronautics, the RDO's Defence Materials and Stores Research and Development Establishment has developed a lightweight ceramic-faced composite armour panels for advanced light helicopter. The new armour panels are currently under fabrication, that will provide protection against 12.7mm armour-piercing bullets to the aircrew and critical parts of the helicopter. The Indian Army has said that it is pleased with the performance of indigenous anti-drone systems deployed in Jammu and Punjab sectors against weapon-carrying drones launched by Pakistan. The Indian Army has deployed 50 spoofer and jammer systems along the western border, and over the course of three months, the indigenous systems with hard kill and soft kill capability have effectively prevented UAVs from flying into India from across the border. National Aerospace Laboratories is set to launch India's first high-altitude platform in May this year. The first prototype powered by solar energy will fly up to a range of 3 kilometers, and National Aerospace Laboratories has said that the full-fledged version of the high-altitude platform will be ready in the next two years, that will fly at an altitude of 20 kilometers.